No one is immune to getting COVID-19, but for some, the chances of contracting it are much higher and the experience could be much worse. We're under a stay-at-home order, but while most people can still go out for essentials, people who are immunocompromised are confined to their homes. Wearing masks, washing your hands and keeping them off your face, and staying inside your homes as much as possible are all ways to stay healthy. And you have to continue doing these things so those with weaker immune systems will be able to step outside again without the risk of getting seriously ill. Group including immunocompromise are at higher risk of infection if exposed and are higher risk of more serious infection if they test positive, including higher risk for hospitalization, ventilation, and unfortunately death. Some of the people who are at greater risk might not be who you're picturing. Well, pregnant patients technically are immunocompromised. Of course, we always think of cancer patients and transplant patients who are taking medication, which lowers their immune system. And then the folks we might not think about include patients with lupus or rheumatoid arthritis or uh, multiple sclerosis who... And those with more than one risk factor have an even greater chance of getting COVID-19 if they're around someone who has it. Tori Toomey is one of them. From what you understand, what happens potentially if you are exposed to COVID-19? Um, just to be blunt, I won't survive it. Tori has cervical cancer and is going through chemotherapy. She hasn't been able to leave her home since the pandemic began. Simple things like going to the grocery store is just like non-existent now. Tori tells me it's incredibly frustrating when she sees people disregarding social distancing guidelines. You're not going to do this for yourself. Do this for people like me who want to leave the house, who can't. One of the hardest parts for those who are immunocompromised, not being able to spend time with family members outside their home. You know, my grandmother wants me to come over and visit. I want to visit her so badly and take the children and spend time with her. But having to explain to her that I can't because... It's not safe for me. It's not safe for her. Tori says she's now more aware of her surroundings and cleans constantly, and she's keeping a positive attitude. I feel like, in one sense, this is going to bring a sense of community back that we haven't had in a very long time. 